So in response to your question about who's going to analyze the data, I mean, I think yeah. that's something for you to institutionally sort out, but I am going to analyze it with my colleague Nancy Brooks as soon as uh, it becomes available. Um, and um, I wanted to actually just reference the earlier studies that we've done. The, the data, and this isn't to single out Burlington, it also is the case with South Burlington and, and Vermont State Police, but there are significant disparities, uh, racial disparities. And so, for example, if you look at the arrest rates, uh, search rates, for example, for 2011 and 12, blacks were searched at more than two and a half times the rate of white drivers in Burlington. Uh, in South Burlington, it was five times the rate, but the disparities are significant and therefore worrisome. Uh, and so I think the, the real challenge is to systematically analyze the data every year mm -hmm. and to, and, and I know the chief has the intention of doing this and to use that as a tool to see if progress is being made in, a, in assessing those disparities, but the disparities are, are significant. Um, so we, you know, we will analyze the data. Um, what we did in our our first study for Burlington, South Burlington, Winooski, and UVM is there is an issue around credibility, around the quality of the analysis, and that's been raised about some other authors. We sent our study to several uh, experts in race data analysis for comments, and I think that's a good practice with whomever you have analyzed your data is to do what we do as academics, which is to send it to referees to look at. 